question. But like, everyone knows that, right? Obviously this debate is quite popular. So, let's make a scoreboard. Ah, there we are. Perfect. The way this video is going to work... Almost exactly one year ago, I made a video comparing the two World Evil exclusives, Crimson and Corruption, which did exceptionally well. But that video is so outdated and incorrect, which is why I'm here to reevaluate my choices and tell you which one is truly superior. Now, first off, I'm just going to review the old video and point out all the mistakes I made and explain what I did wrong and why that point is invalid. But well, without further ado, let's get into it. Terraria is constantly split up into debates about which world exclusives are better, whether it's Titanium or Adamantite, which isn't by choice and is easily solvable. This point is completely invalid due to Shimmer. Now you can just Shimmer it into the alternative ore and it literally makes no difference. Wrong or right? What? Oh, on the script it says Crimson and Corruption. Well, like, everyone knows that, right? Obviously this debate is quite popular, so... Let's make a scoreboard. Ah, there we are. Perfect. The way this video is going to work is I look at the points and then the winner gets one point. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room. This has been covered by content creators and I have whole videos centered around them. So, which is better? The worm scarf or the brain? The brain's ability to completely negate an attack is way better than 17% damage reduction. Well, ignoring the videos that I just showed with a literally juxtaposition, let's look at the facts. The Worm Scarf gives you 17% damage reduction. Brain of Confusion gives you 16.3% dodge chance. This might make you think that the Worm Scarf is better, but don't be tricked. Every time you dodge with the brain, which is a 1 in 6 chance by the way, you gain 10% crit chance and 10% summon damage. In simple terms, it basically means Brain is better for loadouts with less defence that do more damage, especially summoners. Whilst Worm Scarf is suited for tanky setups, and that's about it. I mean, I got to the poll I put yesterday, most people for Brain, so I guess I can include Scarf. By the way, if you didn't get that poll, it's probably because you're not subscribed, so subscribe. Anyway, let's have a point. The next argument is that Corruption is harder to navigate than Crimson, and I have to say I'm in full agreement with this argument. Early game, Corruption is a hassle, whilst Crimson is a lot easier. Honestly, I stand by this point. Another point to Crimson. A small one at that. Wow, it isn't looking good for corruption. Hopefully they can bring it back. Next up, armor set. Now, both of these give 19 defense, which might make you think they are equal, right? Well, no, not really. The set bonus of Crimson makes it not even close, and don't get me wrong, Shadow Armor's speed bonus is great, but it's nothing compared to the insane regen of Crimson. Another point to the red team. These armors are actually pretty equal. The increased movement speed isn't as good as the regen, so I'd probably stand by this point. I mean, this isn't accounting for the fact that you can get ancient shadow armor before the boss, but I'm going to ignore that as it's heavily luck based. Finally, some competition. Now, both world evils have an evil boss, that being either the brain of Cthulhu or the eater of worlds. Now, in my opinion, eater of worlds is miles easier than brain. The segments make the fight a breeze of piercing weapons. A lot easier than Brain. I just can't stand the confusion debuff mid fight and walking into it like an idiot. This one I actually completely disagree with, because I made a video a while back on how to kill the Brain really easily using spiky balls, and now I just use that strategy every single time I play Crimson and it works flawlessly. One point to the purple corner. I'm glad to see Corruption bringing it back. Now that we're done with all the evil boss stuff, let's talk about some hard mode stuff. In hard mode, World Evils generate an underground bio. This allows new enemies to spawn, but most importantly, underground enemies can provide Ikko or Cursed Flame. Now, I'm trying to be as least biased as possible, but I'm sorry, it's not even close. 20 defense is way better than whatever you're doing with Cursed Flame. Ikko actually only reduces it by 15. This was true during the making of the video. I guess I just never checked. Another point to the land of the brain, sadly. Both biomes have unique bio mimics with different drops. But which is better? Well, it solely depends on your class. Point for red. Okay, for some reason in this point of the video, I just didn't provide a reason. But yeah, the crimson items are better. Now, this is a big one. Vampire knives or Scourge of the Corruptor? 
Now, despite what some people might say, Vampire Knives are actually quite good for harder difficulties with hard defense loadouts. But better than Scourge? Well, no, I don't think so. But I don't like the hate that Vampire Knives get. Soon after making this video, I quickly found out that Vampire Knives were a lot better than I thought they were. And I got loads of comments, including one from Shy Guy Mass, telling me that, yeah, Vampire Knives are a lot better than Scourge. And they're right, it is. Like, kind of no competition. A point for purple. Now, this is where the video was going to end. A devastating 5 2 to Crimson. But then I remembered something fishing. But what could fishing possibly offer? Well, oh boy, fishing offers these bad boys. Rage and Wrath. Whilst Rage gives a rather uneventful 10% crit chance, Wrath, on the other hand, gives a whopping 10% damage. This is way better than Crimson's counterpart and is easily a point for purple. No, it's not. Damage and crit chance give pretty similar DPS bonuses. I also forgot about the fishing weapons, and although the Toxic Carp isn't that good, it is leagues above the Blade Tongue because of its range. Okay, to be fair, the Blade Tongue does kind of suck, so yeah, I guess the Toxic Carp does win. So then, what does this all mean? Well, I guess it means that Crimson is better, but in reality, both of these provide great opportunities that the other cannot, and you haven't played Terraria till you played both. Nah, Crimson's well better, mate. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and if you're a really dedicated fan, go and watch my last video as it did not reach 1k views, and you know, you know what that looks like, it looks like a bad video, so you know what happens to bad videos, like, you know, um, you know what happens.